Hello everybody, this is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Tour. I decided to take it outside today and get some fresh air. And the new year is coming upon us and I just wanted to share some great tips for those of you that are looking to eat healthier in 2015 or whenever you see this video. And some of the things I do on a regular basis or try to do to make sure I'm somewhat healthy and I'm balanced in my approach and thinking about health. And I pray these uh, tips and suggestions will help you. I encourage you to experiment with them and make your own adjustments that fit your lifestyle best, but do not neglect your health no matter how good you feel. Remember, stimulants can make you feel great and amazing also, but they're not necessarily good for you. So how you feel is definitely one of the aspects of knowing that something you're doing is working, but it's not the only one. You also have to think besides how you feel, you got to think is your sleep well, is your digestion well, and, and is your mood well, and all these different things that I discuss in all, all my other videos. Speaking of which, uh, many people ask me questions below these videos and I do my best to get to them and answer them. Uh, sometimes I might type in my reply. Uh, but if you go over to the Raw Life Health Show for members, uh, I'm answering all questions every Friday. Uh, some of them just by typing, but a good amount of them I'll be doing in video form as well. So check it out, rawlifehealthshow.com. You can just click on the link here if you want to go there. So here's a, a, a tip or suggestion, and if you do this too, let me know, but uh, here's something I try to do every day. Uh, I do my best to make sure, now we all love sweets, okay? We all love sweet food, fruits uh, are sweet food, and dried fruit is a wonderful sweet fruit, uh, but you can easily overdo that. And yes, even though it's natural sugars, it can still create a problem with your health. It might take longer than it would if it was artificial flavoring and artificial sweeteners. Uh, but still, sugar is a wonderful fuel for the body if it's in a balanced form. Uh, and the best and only way it should be taken in the body is in a natural form, like dried fruit or even uh, undried fruit is even better, or, or, or something as such. I like to use stevia to sweeten many of my things to kind of avoid the the sugar as much because I do eat a good amount of fruit. Um, but we want to balance it out. What do I mean? Well, uh, greens in your diet are essential. Whether you have a blended smoothie or whether you have a juice, a green juice, or, or just salad greens. Uh, greens are important to get in our diet. Let me give you an example when I go to the gym and work out. Uh, I try to do the hardest thing first so it gets easier after that. So I have something to look forward to. I get the hard part out of the way. I also try to do it first thing in the morning because I know if I don't do it in the morning, I'm not going to do it all day. So when we transfer that philosophy to diet, we think that greens are one of the things people don't really like the best. And yes, maybe if you have an, an amazing salad with a, a, a sweet dressing or a, a, a dressing that has a lot of flavor, uh, you can so-called stomach the greens better. Uh, I myself have developed a appetite for eating greens just plain. I still use salad dressings, but I prefer, the, prefer them just eating them plain. Uh, regardless, we got to get our greens in our diet. And if you're one of those people that you really don't like greens, uh, you know, try to find them in a form you, that you can uh, enjoy them. And try to eat them earlier in the day. They're earlier so you don't have to think, well, I'll save them for dinner or something. And then dinner comes and somebody else gives you a better option than greens. And then what are you going to do? So try to get them in the morning. So what I like to do is uh, have some greens any day. So uh, it depends how much time I have and everything else. But uh, if I can't get good fresh greens either from my garden or from somewhere else that I'm out, I still want to have my greens. Uh, so this is just an example of not the ideal greens because they're not fresh. They're not from a garden. Uh, well, they're, they're somewhat fresh. They have a freshness date on here. But you know what I mean. They're not just picked right out of the garden. So for some reason, if I can't get uh, those seagulls uh, like these greens, I guess they want them. For some reasons, if I can't get greens uh, that, that are the ideal, I'm not going to not do them at all. So I just ran to the store and I picked up these greens here, which I'm just chewing in my car and so on. Now, I know when I get through with this, I can enjoy my fruit the rest of the day and, and, and so be it. But uh, if I don't eat this and I just have too much fruit, then I, I, I'm not balanced. It's not a balance, uh, not only in the way I feel, but also in the way of, uh, you know, the greens have a lot of nutrients in there that our body can use. Uh, now, of course, uh, the longer it is from being picked, you lost a lot of enzymes and some nutrients. And uh, unlike uh, people want to believe you can get all your nutrients from a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet, I think because of the lack of soil and the low quality food today, it's very difficult to get a 
all our nutrients from any type of diet. And I think supplementation is important. I have other videos about that. Uh, but when it comes to our diet, you know, this is what I do. I like to get my greens. And often uh, I, I, I have activities I do in the evening. And in the daytime, I'm busy working. So I try to get them in the morning in either a form of a green juice or a salad or something. Some people might say, well, it's too early in the day to eat greens. Well, that all depends on what time you're getting up and and what you're eating, and I encourage you to check out my book, The Daylight Diet, to find more about that. Uh, but basically, my, my fail-all, if, if, I, if I went through the whole day and I didn't have any greens or something, a green vegetable juice in my juicer is something I make sure I get if I haven't had green throughout the day. I'd still try to get it even if I had my greens, but in that case, I'll still try to get it. I, I make sure I have a green vegetable juice with a lot of greens. You could put some uh, apples or, or even carrots in there to sweeten it up. Uh, if you want, but uh, there's a good amount of greens in there, so I make sure I get that. So as long as I get my greens at least six days a week, I know I'm doing well. I might take a day off either to fast or relax or just have a couple of pieces of fruit and nothing else that day, but I'm a busy person. I run around a lot. I like the sugar from the fruit. I enjoy it, but I don't enjoy it exclusively. I, I like the greens. Uh, the greens really do help, I find, me and, and people that are living that balanced type of approach. Uh, and another important thing is there's different type of greens. Uh, see, this is baby arugula. Uh, I know in Europe they call it rocket salad. Uh, but there's so many different greens. Just recently, uh, my, my wife's friend is a, runs a co-op out of a house and she had a whole box of organic baby bok choy. And I was making green drinks with that. I was making salads with that. It was just wonderful. A good variety of greens, uh, the better off you're going to be. A good variety of anything you eat, the better off you're going to be. Uh, but then there are these times, these stages where I'll eat just a lot of kale. And I'll, I'll eat a lot of kale for, uh, for a couple of weeks because kale might be in season or the, I might have more kale in my garden or it just might be on sale or something. Uh, but, but it's good to switch off and not just one green and that's it. There are different nutrients in different ways. Uh, I love to make a salad again. I have my greens there. I'll put a dressing over it and throw an avocado in there and you have a nice salad. Uh, so uh, that's very important. I just wanted to share that tip. Uh, whatever you're doing. Now, some of you watching this are not all raw. You're not on an all raw food diet. Uh, you might eat some uh, cooked food. Some of you might even eat animal products. Even more important to get those greens in your diet. And my suggestion is if you're eating cooked food or you are eating animal products is uh, to eat a green salad before you eat that stuff. Or eat the greens. You don't even have a salad. You can eat it right like this and then eat that stuff. Or get a green juice. Drink the juice. Wait about 15, 20 minutes and then you could eat your, your cooked stuff or your animal products. Now, I don't recommend those things uh, as ideal, but if, if you're going to do those, so essential to get those greens, to get those enzymes, to get your digestive working, and also to make sure you get minerals uh, that your body can use. Uh, there should be no excuse not to get your greens, except people will say, well, I just don't like the way they taste. Make a green smoothie, you know, uh, throw some greens in a blender with uh, some fruit, and you can make greens taste great. You know, I know a lot of people that say things like, well, I don't like avocados. I'm like, oh, really? But they love guacamole. I'm like, do you know what avocados are made with? Oh, guacamole is made with? It's made with avocados. And uh, so a lot of people have a misunderstanding of a lot of these things. And it's perception a lot of times. If we have some greens that aren't fresh or just don't taste good, uh, we think we just don't like greens. But there are so many different types of greens. Spinach is not as bitter as kale. So maybe we don't like kale, but spinach is not as bitter. Uh, rocket salad or baby arugula has kind of a spicy tang to it. It's really nice. I like it. Usually the rule is the darker the green, the more bitter it's going to be, the lighter the green, uh, the less of a taste it's going to have. For example, romaine lettuce versus maybe some other type of lettuce or some red cabbage versus Napa cabbage. So the lighter uh, the, 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 the vegetable, the, the lighter the taste, but also the lighter the nutrient content. Usually that's uh, something. It's not 100% across the board, I don't think, but uh, that's a good way to Think about it, but again, the best way thing you could do is just switch off the greens at different times throughout the day, uh, and that's a great way to have a balanced raw food lifestyle uh, in the long run uh, if you're going to do this for a long time. And it's not necessary to eat 100% raw. You can go 75, 80% raw and eat some cooked food if it's not uh, really processed or, or, or containing a lot of artificial 
things in them, it's fine. Uh, but the greens go along great with cooked food. Uh, they just uh, make a perfect complement to it all. So for 2015 that's coming up, or again, like I said, whenever you're watching this video, uh, that's a tip for you to try. You can start right now. It's a couple of days before. Uh, I don't know when this is going to air, but that, that's something for you to try. Go, let's say, all of January. Just try to have some type of green every day. And I'm not talking about green M&Ms, folks. I'm talking about something green. And that should help you with uh, what you're doing and how you're doing it. Again, uh, the earlier in the day we have it, the better off we'll possibly be. Another thing is to think about is to look at the animals in nature. The animals in nature, they will not eat every green. They will not eat every food unless they're hungry and starving. Then they eat just about anything. Like I said, you know, an animal that's uh, eating fresh fruit off a tree will not eat a McDonald's hamburger if you throw it to them. However, if they haven't eaten in months and they need food, they'll eat just about anything as most of us who are starving will. Unlike things we say like, oh, I would never eat that. No, you'd eat that before you died. I would hope at least you would. Uh, but, but hopefully we're never in that situation. Uh, but when you put uh, something like something fresh and natural in front of an animal, uh, again, they're not all going to eat greens. I mean, even if it's chopped up or blended up or something, uh, but that's just to say that we might not like everything. Everything might not appease our appetite. Uh, but that's not a reason to neglect everything either. So if we don't like one green, we don't say, oh, I don't like greens. You know, I have some little babies and, you know, and little children, and they, they, they love greens certain ways. They don't like it other ways. You know, it's not a bad thing if you don't like greens in your diet, but it's, it's an important to get it in your diet. So don't neglect that. I know uh, people that never eat green, and uh, I mean, and the most obvious result I see with them is they're very, they're very uh, constipated. And what the greens are, they are like a broom, and they sweep out your colon. Uh, so that's another great benefit of it. It has just a perfect amount of uh, nutrients, but also fiber to really... Uh, get your colon clean. And another way you could tell how that is, by the way, is I always say our body is the best juicer. So if you put something in a juicer, uh, you see how much liquid is actually in there. Greens actually contain a good amount of liquid. So when you put like a piece of kale in a juicer, you get a lot of juice. And, and then you see, and lettuce, you would even get more, but then you start seeing uh, the, the pulp come out. So when you have greens, that pulp that's coming out, that's essentially that broom that's sweeping through your colon and uh, getting rid of all the waste as it's sweeping. And it's eventually going to come out. Uh, so uh, an another thing people say is about juicing. They go, oh, juicing is a waste of money. Well, I juice all the time, and I'm telling you it's not a waste of money. It actually saves money because when I eat a salad and there's a green that has a really thick stem in the middle, I'm not eating that thick stem. And most people throw that away. That, in my opinion, is wasting money. That's where so many of the juice and the nutrients are. So what I'll do is I'll cut out that stem or, or rip the leaves off and have that stem and save that. And then when I juice, I'll juice just the stems. Yeah, there's pulp that's coming out that I sometimes might use for crackers or something that I'll make. But sometimes I don't use that pulp. Sometimes it does go in a compost pile. But uh, I know I'm using still a part of the green that I normally wouldn't have if I wasn't juicing. So juicing is not necessarily a waste of money. I'll make another video about that. Remember, everybody, uh, check out rawlifehealthshow.com. You can post your comments and questions below this uh, video, and I'll do my best to answer them. But if, you, if it's a real interesting question or if I like it a lot, I'm going to make a video about it, and I'm going to post it to the member site at rawlifehealthshow.com. We have hundreds of videos on there, longer videos, lectures, and interviews by people. So uh, you get a lot here at YouTube. Uh, you can get a lot of uh, good videos of mine. Uh, but uh, the member site has so many benefits. I want you to check it out, uh, rawlifehealthshow.com. All right, and before we leave, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I want to tell everybody to have a healthy uh, safe uh, experience with whatever you decide to do with your choices for your diet and your life. Um, but the best way to go is against uh, what is the most common popular things today. Uh, but anyway, that's, uh, that's that. Uh, put your comments and questions below. Until then, everybody, uh, have a great day and a great raw life. Thank you for checking out my video. If you want more great videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel right here. And if you want to go to my member website for even more videos about the raw food diet and lifestyle, right now I'm offering you a three-day trial for just one dollar. Go to rawlifehealthshow.com or just click right here and we'll take you right there and check that out.
please pass these videos to somebody you think might be interested. Until then, everybody, have a great day and a great raw life.